Hi, Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. It is my pleasure to bring you the talents of Ryan Gosling, this time for the movie La La Land. He sings, he dances, he acts, he plays piano. Every skill set you probably didn't even know that you actually could rise to the level of you had to put on in this film. That's right, and in one shot. So the director didn't make it easy. But what was that like? I mean, obviously you started out doing, you know, entertainment stuff, I mean, dancing, you know, singing and acting things, but this takes it to a different level. Did you ever think that you would be in a musical? I thought that ship had sailed. I thought that the idea of being in one of these, uh, you know, old-fashioned musicals was not uh, going to be an uh, opportunity I would have. So I was very excited to have that opportunity and surprised, Did as you can imagine. Did you go back and look at any that had kind of been before to give you a sense of the tone? Yeah, he had a lot of references, um, uh, you know, uh, umbrellas, um, Scharberg, and, uh, the, you know, Singing in the Rain. American in Paris, Top Hat, Swing Time. Watching this movie, I mean, it really is, there's a magical quality to it, and I have to congratulate all of you that were part of it. But one of the really impressive parts is watching you play piano. Oh. And I know that you, <laughs> while you may have played before, it's a whole different thing to have to play for this movie. Yeah. What was that preparation like? It, it was exciting. Uh, I always wanted to play piano. I, 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 I've never had the opportunity to really sit down and practice or have a great tutor, so I was just excited by the challenge, you know. It was the first thing I had to shoot in the film was the scene where I play the theme of the movie in one shot, and there's just, you know, no opportunity, no uh, uh, possibility in that format to, to make a mistake, you know. But Damien, you know, I think he pushed all of us to see what we were capable of. And obviously you and Emma have worked together before. Did that make this easier in a sense because you have that chemistry between the two of you? Yeah, there was so much to do in this film. There's so much to learn and to uh, to get uh, to get right and so many things had to come together that it was just really lucky that we had made two movies together beforehand because we were able to hit the ground running. And I mean everybody has a passion in life and your character obviously it's jazz. Mm -hmm. What would the correlation be for you? What would be that one thing that you want to keep it in its purest form and sadly the world is kind of bastardizing it. Well, I don't know if they're bastardized. I mean, you know, it's, uh, I think I share Damien's, which is film, you know, and uh, just the hope that that can, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, still be an option, maybe not the only option in terms of uh, uh, how you make a movie. But, uh, you know, we had the opportunity to shoot this on film, and I think you can feel uh, what it contributes to the overall experience. Your character's dream was to one day open a club, or at least to turn what Ed Building back into what it's rightly deserved to be. If you had the opportunity to open a club, what type of music would you want to be playing in there? Um, I don't know, that's a good question. Um, I probably would open up a club that uh, was more like the 80s band that my character was in. A lot of keytars. That would be the sign, just a keytar. And one of the things for Damien, this is a love letter to Los Angeles, because it would be very easy to make a movie show on the other side of the city. It may not be as pretty. Right. But you came from somewhere else. So what was your first impression of Los Angeles like? I mean, I, 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 I came from a very small town in Canada, so it, I thought, I guess I thought, well, it's, it's, it's warm. It's very warm. It's nice. I could get used to this. Was it overwhelming? Of course. It's very big, and there's so many people pursuing the same, uh, or you perceive them to be pursuing the same goal as you. And uh, yeah, it's very, uh, it's, it, it takes a long time, you know, but I, I was very lucky, I have to say. I met w wonderful people who uh, looked out for me and uh, encouraged me along the way. Well, I cannot congratulate you enough. This is an absolutely terrific film, Ryan. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. And this is Scott Orr. Till next time.